This is the Star Wars The Black Series Cal Kestis from the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order a video game. Pretty neat, looking very cool. Let's get him out of packaging. And here is Cal Kestis out of packaging. And for some reason, this figure has been the ultimate peg warmer for this wave of Black Series figures. I'm not entirely sure why. Yeah, it, it's probably because he's not as popular a character yet because the game hasn't been released. Uh, it's due out in November 15 and uh, the figure came out way too early. And the game is Jedi Fallen Order and he is the main protagonist. He's one of those Padawans who survives the purge of Order 66. He has his droid BD-1, and he finds a lightsaber that's uh, sort of banged up, and he uses it and as his own. And he finds a mentor uh, uh, in the game, and uh, he fights off a slew of purge troopers led uh, by the second sister Inquisitor. So it's probably going to be an interesting game, and he is the main protagonist. And I... I thought this was a very solid figure and well detailed. It's pretty accurate to what we're going to see on the video game. Uh, he, the only thing he doesn't have is that um, windbreaker or the hoodie, um, the hoodie windbreaker that he wears when he's trying to hide uh, from the Empire. And he's uh, gone off with the Scavenger Guild and all that, but. Uh, as it is, this is his outfit as a sort of a Jedi in hiding, and I, I like it. For, I mean, it's it's really well designed. Lots of details. The head sculpt is fantastic. The lightsaber came out nicely. And on top of that, he has his little droid BD-1. So let's start with the droid. Uh, nothing much to it. I mean, it's your basic... It, it, it's just made of one colored plastic. They painted it. And if you look through several on the pegs, which I'm sure you're going to be able to do so, uh, this eye, and so, uh, sometimes this has been uh, some quality issues, like the black overlapping with the red, and even in this one, this is, it's suffering a little bit of that quality issue uh, with, with the red uh, not neatly painted, but that's, that's fine. This was the best one I could find. It's got some silver, some red. Uh, some blue. He kind of reminds me of uh, an ATST, a mini ATST. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, head is on a ball joint. Uh, I guess shoulders or hips are on ball joints and a hinge knee. And that's about it. So, he does stand well. Uh, he doesn't cling on to his master. Very nicely. I was just, I just had him resting on the shoulder, but uh, he does stand nicely and great for a display. Okay, on to Cal Kestis. So lots of details in the figure. Hasbro's really stepping it up uh, with their action figure uh, for the Black Series. And as you can see, look at this fantastic head sculpt. Uh, it's got that, um, I don't know if it's photo real, but uh, yeah digitally printed face on him so it'll blend well with your other black series figures nice ha a hair sculpt separate piece that they've attached to the head a little bit shiny on on the face the flesh uh, plastic that they use is a little shiny much like what they did for obi-wan kenobi in disguise he's hiding so i can imagine he's wearing these it looks like workers' clothes more than Jedi, uh, more than a Jedi uniform. It's it's like a workman's uniform, because he's he's working with the scavengers, <clears throat> and he's got this sort of like a half vest jacket, uh, or coat, and he's got a it's ha it has a bandolier molded into it. So some some details right there of straps. He's got a separate piece uh, for the pistol belt which actually forms part of the lower part of his shirt. Uh, none of the accessories are detachable. Uh, he's got some pockets here and there, some tools. Uh, very nice, actually. I'm quite impressed with the amount of detail. And there's hardly any paint apps uh, quality issues on it. Very nice. So he's got this glove. It looks like a falconer's glove. It's 
Got some more accessories there, molded in. Pretty cool, weathered workman's glove. Uh, the other hand doesn't have a glove. It has a sort of wristband akin to what Ray has. And pants, very weathered pants. Feels like they're jeggings, like, you know, tight jeans, kinda. And his, his boots right here, nice detail all around. Okay, so we'll leave him there. He does come with a lightsaber. And this is the hilt that we saw in the trailer, albeit this is a sort of, it feels like it's a finished product, but it's supposed to be, if you look closely, it's supposed to be that lightsaber he found that was a little bit destroyed, uh, tattered right here, and then that he uses. So, okay, I like it. Uh, it's It's made of this, nice charcoal type of plastic i wish they could have put a little bit more paint apps on it a little bit more detail some silver maybe some light gray i i don't know but yeah and it comes with this blade it's a deep cerulean blue type of translucent plastic and they went back to that flared peg uh format and it, it's a little tight to remove and i reckon you probably won't need to remove it uh, as often because there's no hook or anything that they can hang on there's no place to store that hilt anywhere I, at least from where i i can see there's no hooks or or anything like that to hold or, or clip to to hold on to that uh hilt so yeah pretty cool uh because of the extra uh pieces covering the blade the blade looks a little short shorter than usual but it's actually pretty long so it's nice, fits nicely on his hand. Trust no one, trust only the force. Okay, articulation for the figure. It's got a ball joint in the neck. This is the new neck joint. It's got a ball joint here and a ball joint at the lower base of the neck. It's got a ball jointed upper torso, ball hinge shoulders, and get this, just like the Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi, he's got that uh, butterfly shoulder joint pretty cool that's why i got him in that really nice dynamic pose at the beginning of the review no waist swivel uh he's got a ball hinge elbow and then uh ball hinge wrists this one goes in and out this one goes up and down ball jointed hip back it up and thigh swivel Double jointed knees. I love the way the double the knees bend. It's a full 180 degree bend. I love it. It gets him in a lot of that really nice dynamic jumping poses and leaping poses. So pretty cool. Uh, he has his force. He's force sensitive. He can do pull, push, and stasis. That's pretty cool. Uh, ball hinge ankles with a rocker pivot. So it's a very solid figure. And I reckon, you know... I think the interest for this one is very niche, uh, considering the fact that it's probably for those who play the game, uh, and not so much the casual Black Series collector. And if you're not a big fan of the game, you're probably going to skip on this one, and I wouldn't blame you. I was on my way to skipping this one, but I watched the trailer for EA's uh, fall in order and boy i i don't play those games anymore i stopped i i don't really do it. my brothers played it when we were younger but these role-playing games i i don't really play them but the trailer looked absolutely fantastic and as a size comparison let's show him off with the pod one over one because because this is the uh closest uh type of figure that I could that I have that sort of matches with him because of the butterfly joints and all that so uh, you know camera's not showing it but he is but two three millimeters taller than the part one obi-wan kenobi yep so yeah pretty cool and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and give the figure a 10 out of 10 I think it's well done there's really nothing Hasbro could have done to improve it, except maybe gave him the soft goods poncho or windbreaker. Other than that, it's a, it's a very solid figure. If you're a big fan of the game, or if you're looking forward to the game and you want a souvenir from the game, put on your shelf, display, together with the second sister Inquisitor, this is the figure for you. I, I, I like it. I think it's wonderfully done. 
So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this little video review. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of, of this new Cal Kestis figure, whether you hated it or you loved it. Click that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. This has been the Star Wars, the Black Series, Cal Kestis by Hasbro. Thanks for watching.